Today we will be going over estimating warranty expense. Warranty payable and expense. The company must record warranty expense in the same period that the business records sales revenue. This follows the expense recognition principle. Some warranties last for years, however, they are, they are estimated the same way. The warranty payable and expense journal entry is a debit to warranty expense and a credit to warranty payable. There are two different methods to estimate warranty expense. The first one being multiplying units sold times the percent of units defective times the cost per unit. This gives us the total number of units defective times the cost per each. The second method is just a percent of sales. In this practice problem, Bella Beauty made sales of $100,000 this year. They estimate that about 2% of the sales will be defective and require the use of the warranty. What is the journal entry to record the warranty estimate? We would debit warranty expense for $2,000, which you get by doing 2% times the sales revenue, and credit warranty payable for $2,000. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what accounting class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one tutoring session online, or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.